Black. I'm around six foot. I'm 265 pounds, and I play center. How did you spend your summer? Uh, I did. I worked a little bit. Tried to make some money. I went to some football camps. I went fishing some and tried to get ready for football. So are you ready for some football? I was born ready for some football. What are you doing to improve from last year? Well, I lost like 15 to 20 pounds with the Lose It app, and I highly recommend it to anyone out there trying to cut some LBs because I just counted my calories and added work in workouts and cardio. and Yeah, so now I'm having a little more success in the lady department and it's uh, making me feel a lot better. Can you tell us more about the su success in the lady department? Well, you know, <laughs> I've been getting some, you know, you look better without a shirt off. If you take care of your chest hair, you might have a chance with me. So, I mean, maybe I need to get a little wax going on. How does this year's team compare with last year's team? It's a lot different. Last year's team was just like one of the most fun teams I've ever played on. And this year's team, I think, is just equally as fun and a great group of guys. The personnel is completely different this year. We're going to need a lot of younger guys stepping up. But last year, we had so many seniors and so many leaders that the juniors and sophomores didn't really come up and see that much action. But the ones that did, I think, got a lot better. So now we'll look for them to lead this year's team and hopefully bring up some of the younger guys to help us strive together as a team. Are there any particular matchups you've got circled on your calendar? Well, during Dead Week, I went down to Ventura in Ojai, California, and I met some of the Ventur of the Nordoff players, and I lifted in their weight room with Tanner, and Michael and Jacob were there too, and we met some of their guys, and I just really, really want to beat them because I think they're coming in thinking they're going to walk all over us. And so I want to come out and from the first play make a statement that we didn't go all the way down there to lose. And then obviously the West Albany game and CHS are two really big games for us. And then traveling up to Silverton is another one just because the atmosphere there is ridiculous. And, you know, that'd be a good chance for us to really show people what we're made of with an upset up there. What do you think are some of the toughest teams outside of the MWC? Well, obviously Sherwood is up there because they're always a powerhouse. And then Marist is really good too. And, you know, I know there's some other good ones out there. Wilsonville could be good. Springfield, I've heard, is going to be pretty good. I don't really know all that much outside our league, but, I mean, I think there's those teams that can really compete. What is your favorite college team? Oregon State. Your favorite pro team? Uh, I don't really have one. I just like watching like tough NFL teams like the Steelers and the Ravens and the Patriots and the Jets a couple years ago and just like good football games. Who is your favorite college player? Um, probably Isaac Samalo at Oregon State just because like he lifted here at Oregon State with us and he was kind of like a mentor to some of the younger guys there and like helped us out along the way and he's really good and he's really smart and he plays center. Tell us something most people don't know about you. Um, I'm a black belt in Kempo Karate <laughs> and uh, yeah so a lot of people wouldn't expect that but you know I might have to break out some moves but I'm supposed to as they say there keep it buried like a treasure in my pocket until I really need it in self-defense. Cool. Thanks yeah. a lot, Will. Good yeah. luck.